How to be an Irish immigrant. Be born in Ireland. Leave. Not for England. For the love of God, they will only claim you as one of their own. Go somewhere different enough, like Canada, Australia, Thailand, or Mars, if you have to. But that said, if the far side of town isn't far or exotic enough, what's your problem? Come home, often. Suddenly be really into trad music, Dublin slang and tourism adverts. Smile at familiar flags, but skeptical of those hanging outside pubs. Pronounce three and tree differently. Otherwise, expect the number nine when you asked for a small forest. Avoid London. It will feel a little bit too much like home. Discover Victorianism. How many names there can actually be for a bread roll and Boxing Day. But don't ever call it Boxing Day. Get used to people wishing they could visit. And when they do, roll out the vinyl tablecloth and feast on chicken fillet rolls, red lemonade, tato crisp sandwiches, and a real pint of Guinness, which yes, is obviously better at home. Arm yourself with this fact to brighten awkward taxi journeys and new colleagues. Call it home and home home. Discover that the word is a wide stance across separate shores and when you are called not really foreign, it will feel like a swift kick in the ocean, but it has nothing to do with rotting roots and all to do with history books buried behind British teeth. Remind them that you are extrinsic. Reel off pigeon phrases of your second tongue risen from dusty classrooms. Sing Pogue Mahone and call it poetry. Support the NHS. Learn the difference between the British Isles and the United Kingdom. Know their fractured history so you can stand your ground regardless of who it belongs to. Never compare the Irish slave trades to any other and challenge those who do. Remind them of clinging to American steeples while the black bodies burned that the oppressed are masters of tradition. Remember coffin ships when you see dinghies, how borders are as man-made as terror and kindness. Know the history of your privilege sits somewhere between sovereignty and the exiled and let that be turf for warmth. Call your mother more. Know that mate is meant to sound somehow endearing. Shut up and listen. It would be such a shame to come this far and learn nothing. Work like a fucking Paddy. Never allow yourself to be called Paddy. Or Mick. Or drunk. Unless you are. Pack old myth and solstice wherever you might go because you never know where you might need them. Just tell people you're from Dublin. Be proud, but progressive. Remember, but relinquish. Commemorate, but transgress. Spill the parting glass once for the land, once for present company, and once for the road ahead. Let go. Your heritage is not a competition. It is the co-captain of a loyal but untrained crew. Reconcile how change strikes abruptly now. Instead of incremental with home's objective permanence, open your heart to whichever surrogate city will have you. But most importantly, loosen your grip because leaving doesn't have to be a knife.